All right, let's go to, uh, let's actually go to gold first. Let's look at market profile today on a video because the last two videos we were talking about arrow crossover, first retracement, look for an arrow buy or sell. Then we talked about market structure, breakdown trades on the last video. The third video I want to do for you guys to review is market profile. Market profile is a far left chart. Now, the three most important profiles you have is a solid green, solid blue, and solid red. That's the actual volume coming into the market from, like I said, all hedge funds, prop firms, banks, professional amateur traders. And if you're in a hard uptrend, this blue line right here is very, very, very important. Because if it retests that blue line on the first test of it, even the second test, even works sometimes on the third, it's so important, is that the first and second test, that line is very important because that tells you that that is where the highest volume is traded in that particular instrument that you're trading. So if I'm trending up, if my magenta MA is an uptrend, we don't use MAs for uh, support and resistance, they're great for trend direction. If I'm angled up, an easy trade to pick apart in the market is, is look for retracement to the blue level. That's the most volume that's traded. So that's the control point. That's the most volume that's traded in that instrument during the day. Now, an easy way to pick apart if that's going to be a good trade is the white MA is not as important. But there's one way I like to look at that white MA is you'll see it have big spread. It just happened on this gold short. I'll show you in a second also. Look at the spread between the MAs and how it's hooking. It looks like a seagull. We call it a shark, but it looks like a little shark opening its mouth. We call it a seagull, shark bite, call whatever you want to call it. That first retracement, it should bounce hard right back up. It should bounce hard right back up. Gold, I'll put it right beside it so you can see it. There's our gold trade short we just got a second ago. And the arrows that pop right here, I'll show you. Look how it stopped right to the tick on this one, right on the control point, right to the tick with an arrow. Right exactly to the exact tick on the control point. It stopped it several times in a downtrend. We've got an arrow, I'll show you in a second. But take a look at it. It looks just the opposite, doesn't it? It almost looks like a little seagull, or I call it a shark bite. looks like a big seagull. That first retracement short, it should bounce right off that control point for continuation. If you get an arrow that fires off there, which we did on gold, that is a major possible setup. So you look for that first retracement bounce right to the blue. Look for that bounce. Look for positive market delta. Look for the bounce right to the blue, negative market delta. All right, it can go to the HVA2 and downtrends or LVAs and uptrends. Either way, you want to look for a bounce off that level with the arrow. Go to gold real quick, Gerald. So if I look at gold, I had the arrow that fired off right here. So it's an end top. That was a nice entry right there because of what? Look at the negative market delta. Negative market delta right here. So we had a perfect setup on gold short. It's a great setup. I got a retest of the control point, which is the most volume that's traded. It's major resistance. I got a I got an arrow short on my long-term Renko bar, the trend, and I got negative market delta, which is a reversal bar right here also. The reversal bar right at the arrow, which is a pot, which is a great setup. Anytime you get an arrow with a reversal bar, you get a nice little setup. We had that just right now here on, on gold. This gold trade's running right now for us on a negative market delta. You want to match delta with the arrow. But that's perfect resistance on a retracement trade with trend, arrow, negative market delta. That's how you want to line it up. Now, I just showed traders also with news events. When news events come, FOMC statement came out yesterday. Leave it on gold, Gerald. With news events, you have a great opportunity. This is after 2 o'clock yesterday. 
2 o'clock yesterday, the first retracement. Look out, caught that big gold short. First error retracement. First error retracement. Then it caught that big long to the upside yesterday on the FOMC statement. So that first retracement is key with news also. Gold had happened on crude oil inventories, but it happened right at the open. It's so fast. But it caught gold this accrued this week also. That's a great way for you to take advantage of it. Is after news, look for that first cross, first retracement. First cross, first retracement. These guys, these arrows are great with trend if they line up on market profile. If they line up on market profile, then these other additional arrows with trend work out quite well. 